Hi guys. So I'm here with Michael. He's gonna do my eyes. Well, he's gonna fix this a little bit because look, you see my age spots right here? Just a little loud, just a little Little, loud. this is me, naked face. Ugh, scary, but you know, I just wanna tell you people, make sure you use sunblock at an early age because I'm telling you this, the sun is bad news. So Michael's gonna do my makeup for me. The thing I really want most is my eyes. I'm so bad at eyeshadow. Like literally, I'm just not like my kids. They're so good at it. Mm, this yeah. is so good. But this little video will help you have a nice little guide to rewatch. Yeah, I appreciate it. Michael got me ready for Pride the other day and he did my makeup <laughs> and I literally wanted to cry because I loved it so much. He did it and I felt so, oh, I love when he does this. He did my eyes in this beautiful pink and I feel like Didn't we I were highly cry? inspired by Barbie for sure. I was. I love Barbie. But wasn't I going to cry? And you were you like, don't were. cry. I, I don't know. It just made me happy. I know. Ian was like, not in that makeup. That's You're for like, sure. You're like, don't, don't. So. Yeah, we've been talking about Barbie movie a lot. So I feel like it, it was just natural where it, you were wearing the pink shirt. Uh-huh. It was perfect. And make sure you ladies and men moisturize your degliche. Is that how you say it? Degliche. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I over moisturize it and that's why i don't have that many wrinkles but i'm starting to get a little bit here yeah same with your sunscreen always bring it down everywhere mm, i forget to do that mm -hmm. in the morning even your hands like if you're putting your hand lotion on drop a little bit of your sunscreen in your hand oh. lotion because when we're driving our hands are just right there in the sun just baking like the left side of my face has more brown spots yep and i do not my car does not have because you asked me if my car had sunblock or the shade or the, tint, uh -huh. the tint no it does not so i need to do that my hair is getting so long it really this is, is my hair i'm so happy that i don't have extensions anymore <laughs> <sighs> still have my fake nails though never getting away from it i don't think you'll ever get rid of the fake nails that's no, for sure no i love them so much i love them so he prepped me do you put any primer on eyes on the eyes, no. What I like to do is take a little bit of just translucent powder. Oh. And that'll just like kind of knock out any of the oil and create a nice matte base for anything. Gotcha. So I was pride though, after all. We had so much fun at dinner. Um, we went to, how do you say it? Uh, La Boheme. La, La Boheme. And I could be butchering it. That's just what I call it. So. And I had a big girl drink. I actually had two big girl drinks. It was They were so good. They went down so easy. It was big girl drink. coconut rum. Which, oh my gosh, I never knew I liked coconut rum. I don't like it. I love it. Really? Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. That was your first time having it? Yeah, I love it. And then it had like pineapple and orange juice in it. Mm. And I drank mine even before BP drank half of his. He went, girl, Stop. I'm like, it was easy to drink. So I had two. I got up and what I was went. BP having? He always has those fancy drinks like a. Um... Fancy drinks. <laughs> it's all vodka. Because I tasted one. He goes, let me make your martini. I'm like, it's vodka. Like a vodka martini is vodka. Yeah. So, and that's, I don't like that. Too much, too much. Too much. But I got up and I went, uh-oh, I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> on two drinks. But then they we went to Pride. They make them strong there, that's for sure. Yeah. The food was delicious, so that helped. But we went to Pride and it was actually quite quiet. Yeah, not that bad. Mm -mm. We danced a little bit. We went to Mickey's because um, that's where we always go. And um, Is that your little spot to go to? Yeah. And then we just walked the streets because they have all the streets closed down. Right. And um, we literally... That makes it easy to like get around when they do that. Oh, thank goodness. Do you love this pink fabric? I do. I love it. Pink is your color at the moment, I think. I love pink. Yes. I want to wrap my car in pink. You should. Why not? I know, but it's expensive. But what's a, what's good about it, is especially in LA, every day you find a new scratch on your car because mm -hmm. people don't care. They scratch your car. Mm -hmm. And with that, it really doesn't scratch. No. And that way, the paint that you have will always be protective. Yeah, you're protective. But especially if you know you want to resell it later or if you're like a leaser kind of person. Yep. All of a sudden, you unwrap it. It was as if it never even went out into the world. I know. It's so nice. Kenzie was gonna wrap her Jeep baby blue and then oh she's then she's decided to get rid of it. 
Baby blue would have been cute. So her. cute, especially on a Jeep. Oh, yeah. I love baby blue. I do too. It'd be really cute. I also just like nice clean white though for cars. Yeah. That's what my car was. Her car was white. Remember her Jeep was white? Mm hmm. Yeah, so I'm going home on Sunday. And Greg and I will go golfing. He'll want to golf every day, and I will not. I'll go to the club and sit and talk to my friend Adam. And have your Malibu. Have my oh, your coconut Malibu. I'm going to tell him he has to make me my Malibu rum. Say what is it again? The Malibu rum, pineapple juice, and orange juice. And orange juice. So I gave up. I went to the doctor's the other day, and he said that I have formaldehyde in my system. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. Like what they like <laughs> keep things alive with. Yeah, like. Like the no, they they like they put you in formaldehyde when you die, right? Yeah. And like frogs, um, so uh huh. It's because of the equal. Oh, the little sugars. Yeah. So I now, I have not had equal in like five days. I'm using raw sugar in my coffee. It How tastes is it? really good. Do you like it? Yeah. Hmm. It's just sugar. You know, it's like what they used to have before they made white sugar. Right, right, right. So, no, I'm really happy. I'm like, going to get that out of my system, which is great. That's insane. Formaldehyde. Uh-huh. It's crazy. Well, I love watching this because I can, like, re-watch this and see how you do this. Yeah, so you what is see, this? like, the just placement. A, what is this? Uh, this is just a bronzing stick from hmm. Nude Sticks. Nude Sticks. I never heard of it. It's just a nice cream product, so it has a really nice control. Which I like, and especially... You put on top of your foundation? Mm -hmm. I mean, on top of your blush? Uh, foundation. So what I'm following is your natural cheekbone. Oh. So if you fill your cheek, which everyone oh. should do it to themselves, because that's where you're going to put your contour or your bronzer. Oh. You follow, follow it, and the moment you have, feel that hollow of like where your teeth, your bite is, that's where you should always stop. You should never go past that point for your bronzer or your contour. Oh. Because that's the natural hollow. Oh, good so, to know. Okay. So, so you can follow all these videos, right, where everyone's telling you where to place the contour, but it's going to always look a little different because they're following their face shape. Oh. You know, and some people can get away because obviously there's a lot of similar face shapes out there, right? But then some of us are like, wait, why is this technique not working on me? Why doesn't it look the same? I'm following the steps. And most of the time it's just because our face shape is different. What is my face shape in your opinion? Very oval, oval heart. Oh, I like to have a heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. It's not too, too wide. Because the true heart shape is very wide from the forehead and it narrows down. Okay. Um, but yours is more even up there. So the, the oval shape comes from up there. And then it kind of goes more pointed for the heart down by the mm. chin. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And ideally, like what we always strive to do. Uh, create when contouring and reshaping is the mm -hmm. oval face shape. That's the like ideal face shape. Look how nice that looks. Yeah, just even a little bit of color to the face. It's not too crazy. And like honestly, even if you wanted to, you could literally just go out like that. For sure. Throw on some mascara, and boom, we could skip blush. Uh -huh. But obviously, we're not. And so, same with our kind of like our bronzer contour technique that we did. We're going to do the same step and follow our natural cheekbone. And instead of going all the way down to where the hollow is, we're going to go slightly above that. And we're going to go slightly above where we place the bronzer. Oh. So it's going to be higher than our typical smile and put it here because that's just going to drop eventually. But if we place it higher, we're always going to have that nice elevated cheek. And honestly, oh. we always want everything going up, right? Everything uh, is up, hello. up, up, up. Yes. <laughs> always. So by placing our blush higher, it's always going to create that illusion, if you look forward, of a nice lifted cheek. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. It's funny. You and Glenn are the same. You don't like, because some people say smile. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. -mm. No, it's like the worst, because if, you know, if you smiled right now, watch smile, we placed it and stopped smiling, all of a sudden our blush is down here. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden our cheeks are all the way down here. So it's almost ideal not to smile and place where you want your smile to be. So it oh. almost looks like you're, you know, always smiling, right? Wow. And always blushing. That's so cool. Yeah, it's all about placement and being purposeful with your placement. It's something I learned very early on and 
you know, what you want to achieve with that, right? Like some people don't want their cheeks to be very lifted. They have very high cheeks already, so they want to subdue that. So there's a different technique for that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So I think it's all about what you want to achieve. There's no necessarily right or wrong way with makeup, which is the best thing about it. Yeah. But just know like if you're wanting to achieve something, there's going to be a right way, I guess. That's, that's incredible. I just take a little bit of the foundation brush just to clean up our edges wow. and kind of blend it together. And just a nice, subtle, mm, well, lifted... And look, at, look how nice it looks. Right? Oh, I love it. My favorite thing to do with setting with powders is taking one of the Beauty Blender little puffs and pushing it into a pressed powder, actually. Oh. And then pressing it into the skin instead of brushing it on. It's going to help keep everything that we just did, all of our nice, beautiful placement, in place. And also, it just really pushes it into the skin rather than having this weird layer of powder just sitting on top. Oh, that's a great idea. And then if you look, I'll show you once we're done with this side. You can see both sides, how it has, like, almost blurred everything. I need to get one of those. Oh, I love this little thing. It's from Beauty Blender? Mm-hmm. Mm. You can carry it in your bag, and this can be a little touch-up thing. Yeah. So, you could see the difference between there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, you know, it's just nice, and it's, like, blurred. Yeah. That's amazing. And with the same puff... Look how nice that looks. I'll take a lighter setting powder look straight up and go right under here oh. under the eye what companies are your setting powders from? uh these are kosas which i really love they're i love kosas the, oh, they're the best so inexpensive so inexpensive and it's a clean beauty brown which is amazing uh-huh and with this product it's a mineralized pressed powder so it is baked rather than pressed uh -huh. so the way the powder reacts when you're you know, swirling it is very silk-like versus like this dusty powder that's trying to escape from being pressed down. Is that the same color for everybody? No, they have in a range of shades. So you could honestly just go pick one that's exactly your shade and then pick one maybe one or two shades lighter depending on how bright you want your under eye. Um, wow. And kind of play with those. And those can be your bouncy, you know, you bounce between the two of those. Wow. Yeah, because if you see from one side the other side oh my goodness it's like a filter in real life and michael teaches classes now which is amazing he taught one that was like a few hours away so i couldn't go um but he's going to have another one you're gonna have one in la right i am yeah right here actually in west hollywood on the 20th 25th of 25th. june at this studio called hairy little things it's my friend's eyebrow studio so if you ever have any eyebrow needs they're amazing i'll put that down in my link yeah, it'll be so much fun. It's oh, called yeah. The Edit, and it's pretty much a way to edit your current beauty routine without, you know, overdoing it too much. Really simplifying it back to basics. So, yeah, come have fun with us. Learn some makeup. I think that's awesome. And I'm unfortunately, I'm not going to be here. I'm so sad. I know. I was like, I because I asked him, when you come to L.A. to do class? Because it would be so much fun. Because I said, I want to bring some people. So, the next one, I will come. Actually, maybe I could have one and get people to come. I know, maybe we can even do it here. We could do it here at BP Studio. The studio's perfect for it. Oh my gosh, that would be great. That would be such a fun day. Oh yeah. Maybe we can get Dr. Holly to come down. Mm-hmm, <laughs> she'd love it because her and I are terrible at doing makeup. Oh my God, stop it. And our girls are so good at it. You know, the girls really are, but I think it's because they really had to learn at such a young age, you know? Oh my gosh, yes, very young age. And they love it though. They're such they're so like oh. such artists at heart, you know. Oh, for sure. I love the little videos. The one that Mackenzie her first makeup tutorial. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. And at the end, she goes, "Oh, I forgot. I have Abercrombie <laughs> and Finch perfume." And she went. <laughs> it was so cute. Hello, I'm Mackenzie Ziegler, and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. And so, here's a Mac palette that we're going to be using. And we're going to be using this light over here with our eyeshadow brush. Just going to take this one right here and go it out. Like, all right, that's all for my makeup tutorial, but that's not actually, it's not. 
Um, I'm just going to put on perfume. So this is Abercrombie. It's hardly. And that was my makeup tutorial of just showing like a natural look. So, bye. I'm obsessed. With her little buck teeth. I don't know if she had buck teeth or no teeth. Can't remember. I don't know. She's just the cutest. Oh my gosh. Now she's 19. How? I know. It is. Oh my gosh. Look at how good that looks. I mean, so nice. So And smooth. this took less than 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And honestly, most of the time it was me just trying to figure out a shade. Right. And I like that you use um, cream. Creams blush. are so so much better for you know just honestly let's just be real mature skin. They help us oh, look really? younger. Oh. <laughs> they help us look younger because they're just hydrating. We're not setting these powders on our skin because oh. just like anything with a, you know let's just say cracks in it. If you put something more powdery versus creamy, the cream's gonna fill it and you know make a nice smooth surface versus the powder's just gonna sit on it funky. Oh, and make us look kind of cakey. That's amazing. Thank you for that tip because I, you know, that's amazing. Yeah, so after we set it, I'll go right back on top with a little bit more of our blush. Just to kind of bring wow, it back look at to that. life. It looks so nice. And so I have, I don't know about you ladies out there, but I get grays, gray, eyelash I I'm sorry I get gray eyebrows <laughs> and I get them colored when Glenn does my hair but you know it doesn't stay colored for long yeah that's why I love little bra gels again Kosas they have an amazing oh okay I love Kosas you know I do too I like their um concealer because it has that cream in it mm -hmm. so so it doesn't crease yes it just helps staying really hydrated which helps yeah See, I always like going in with a little bit of a brow gel first and then going back in just to see where I need to fill now with oh. the pencil so that we didn't overfill. Oh, nice. See, I think that's an art. Eyebrows? Yeah. Eyebrows are personal, though. It's all, you know, it's, you know, where we carry all of our emotion. And a little trick that I love to do is actually to brush the tail ends down a bit and it gives you more room to see where you need to place oh, interesting. those. And that way when you brush them back up, it's perfectly filled wow. without being over. Because, you know, when you try and fill in that tail end, you're going way above your natural brow. Then all of a sudden we have this caterpillar on the end that we never intended for. Oh, that's interesting. I like all these tips. Yeah, it's just like little things. Like, everyone can be good at makeup as long as we just, you know, tweak certain things that make it easier. Wow. So how long have you been doing makeup? Gosh, 10 years now, which is so crazy to say. And why did you start doing it? Um, Halloween was always my favorite holiday. That's, like, I think what inspired me originally. And then I just saw, I think was the first thing that really was like, wow, beauty, you know, makeup is so beautiful and transformative. I saw a drag queen, actually. And I couldn't believe that it was a man just because her makeup was so beautiful. And I'm like, wow. And like to see the joy it brought him oh, you yeah. know, to bring joy to others, you know, during that performance and through makeup. I'm like, this is insane. And like seeing him out of drag, I was like, wow, like, yeah, you're a man. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, it's incredible. And like you really did that with just makeup. And so I decided to take one class and yeah, I never looked back 10 years later. It's amazing. You're so good at it. Oh, you're so sweet. I mean, it's so fun, and I think it's ever-growing and ever-changing, so I never get bored. There's so many avenues to do it. And I think just making people happy at the end of the day is, like, the best part. Oh, yeah, you made me cry this weekend. <laughs> See, so this is how I like to prime the eyes, is just taking a little bit of translucent powder. You can use any mm. one that you have. You know, Laura Mercier is great. The one I'm using, I think, is the Kevin O'Quan. Um, translucent powder um, but yeah pretty much anything that's not colored gotcha and I love to just first pat down any of the creases that you know the concealer or foundation that are on the eye may, may have created 
just smooth it all out and then just with a nice fluffy brush dust oh. a nice generous amount like you know be kind of heavy with it because it's all going to blend out anyways but now we know oh. that it's set and anything we put on top of this isn't going to go anywhere i love my cheeks i know it's so lifted and good now i can like use this as a tool honestly yeah okay so now for the eyes our most important part i'm going to take a nice like chubby pencil this one's from nude sticks just a nice brown and we're going to outline the eye and the best thing to do is always have the eye open and looking forward i can give you a little mirror too so you can watch along i'm going to clean that up Oh, I love my cheeks. So with the eyes open, like looking forward a little bit, um, you're able to trace out what we're going to do with the eyes. So I'm going to do like a little baby liner here. No way. Ugh. But the best thing to do is always do with the eye open because that's what we want it to look like. If we yeah. do it with the eye closed, who knows what it's going to look like when you open your eye, right? Right. So by doing it open, we're able to see exactly where it's going to be how thick it is, the placement of it all, and doing it with one of these gives us that control. And then... That is such a good idea. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then we take a little brush, a little flat brush, and we just kind of drag the edges, because again, it's a cream, but it's gonna dry down. So before it dries down, we have time to play with this to get it to this little nice baby wing effect. <gasps> oh my goodness. In what, two seconds? I mean, this whole video hasn't even been two minutes. That's incredible. And then after you get your shape, you can go in and fine tune, you know, any little gaps you may see. But don't try and get it right the first time. You know, get the nice outline and then we can always go back in and fill it. That's incredible, Michael, I love that. What kind of, um, what eyeshadow is that? This one is, it's called G Baby by Nude Sticks. And it's just a nice matte brown. Like yeah. It, like it's a little that's a, warm. That's a great color. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting. And then just to double set it, we're going to go in with a matching eyeshadow, but a powder shadow with that same brush. And just tap right on top of where we placed that little baby liner. That's and we're not going to drag yet. We're going to tap just to make sure we're setting. That's incredible. And that's it. Easy peasy. Yeah. Because this is like every day. For mm -hmm. me. You know, like a... Yeah, like I'm going to the market. Super simple. Yeah. And if you wanted to jazz it up, even for the daytime or for the night, you can go back in, look straight up with your pencil and just connect that liner. Not all the way in. I would say about a quarter of the way in. Oh. And then go back in with your brush and just kind of gently buff that. Again, not going all the way inward. And now you have this nice little... <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Open ah! lifted effect. I love it, Michael. With what, two products? A pencil, three products. Pencil, brush, and powder. That's, oh my gosh. Here, we're just gonna guide that little line. And again, don't worry about filling it all in this first time incredible right and so easy and again i'm going to show you a trick right now another trip <laughs> i'm going to show you a trick right now on <laughs> how to clean up any little mistakes that we do so, and show your head again gosh i love that look at that oh, i love it it's so easy too yeah i mean even i can do it yeah. And I'm going to show you again, like, you think these are perfect? Just wait till we clean them up. And that step is so simple. Wow. A little trick is with a little flat brush like this, you can get them from anywhere. It would probably be like a flat definer brush or like a fat, fat, a flat mm -hmm. liner brush. Okay. Um, from any brand, and then we'll take your concealer. Which seems to run away from me. I, that looks incredible. So nice, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, and so with that little brush, 
and a little bit of concealer. So we'll wipe most of the excess off. It's almost nothing if you look at it. And it'll look straight ahead. And we'll pretty much just gently stamp the liner until we get that perfect lifted clean line. Wow. Don't drag because you don't want to pull anything. Right. We're just going to stamp. Because in reality, it's pretty perfect already, right? But yeah. if we want to be extra, extra. It's pretty ingenious. And now it's a, it's a perfect slice up of a line. Which oh my it, gosh. It's literally perfect. Yeah, you say it's easy. Mm. <laughs> I believe in you. And let's straight ahead. Perfect. Yeah, it's like taking you just a few seconds. Mm-hmm. And a little magic eraser trick always helps because then you yeah you start doing these things and don't feel as pressured because you know I can just clean it up. Yeah, that's great. I like to go in with a bony or cream t colored shadow. This is the Makeup by Mario palette, which is honestly, if you have this, you can do your brows with this. You can do your eyes with this. Mm. They're all mattes, and there's every color you need for a natural, a natural look, honestly. This is like what I would do for every day. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take that bone color and just kind of toss it right there in the inner corner. I'm kind of mixing these two. And what this is gonna do is just brighten that inner corner without, you know, putting a shadow, or sorry, a shimmer, or anything too crazy. That's gonna also add texture, because we wanna still keep this pretty matted and smooth. So by mixing these two, it's helping neutralize any colors on the lid, but also brighten them up. And then we're leaving all of the darkness concentrated on the outer corners to really lift. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. There, we have our lashes curled. Really important to keep them nice and lifted, especially if you're not gonna put a strip lash on top anyways. I hate strip lashes. Oh, we used to have to wear them on dance moms because I guess it was just easy to put on for mm -hmm. Diane, our makeup artist. And I mean, she did a great job and she would cut them, but oh, I couldn't, as soon as we were done filming, I just ripped them off. No. I just hate them. That's why I like individuals. They're the best, which is what we're going to do right now. And what's nice with individuals, you could just, you don't have to put them the whole way across, which that's what Michael does for me. He only puts them, you know, not the whole way across because there's no reason. They're way more customizable that way, which is why I love them. Mm-hmm. Do you ever get the 3D ones? Oh, the ones that look like little wispies? Yeah. I do have those. Yeah. Look down. I'm just gonna do a nice like clear mascara just okay. to feather them out. We used to use clear mascara in the 80s. Really? That was like a thing. And then- that The Maybelline came... one? Uh-huh. Is that funny? That one was great. Mm -hmm. I used to still use that for eyebrows, actually. It's oh. a great brow gel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so these are the ones we like to use, the Ardell Dura Lash in a mixed set. We typically use the medium and short, because mm. again, we're only focusing on the ends. And like, honestly, the long ones are, I rarely use long. Oh, I'm sure. Unless you're someone who naturally has long lashes and I need that extra length to even just make them show up. Gotcha, just to even see them. So these variety packs are great, but again, you'll probably find yourself not even using that bottom row, which is why they only put one row of sh long and then two of both the others. Oh, okay. I think they realize that. It's very rare that you use the long ones. Ardell is the best. That's what the girls used. They're so great. Competition. I ordered a, I would order a box of 500. I told you that. Yeah. And they're just consistent. You knew what you were getting Always. every single time. Yep. Yeah. So I'm putting, starting out with about three and then I'll have Melissa open her eye and see where we're at. And you can see it just barely there, but mm -hmm. the dimension of both eyes now is completely different. For sure. And I'll have you look down again. And I don't ever close my eyes completely, right? No, Why never close your eyes completely. Yeah, you, know, you can just risk your eye getting glued, which is not a big deal. Oh. I mean, it's just, it's latex. It's not going to, yeah. like, super glue your eyes shut, but obviously not the most comfortable. No. So and then it'll ruin all your makeup because you're, you're going to be crying. You're going to be crying. We're having to peel your eye apart. 
Yep. So yeah, it's always best to keep your eyes just kind of looking down. And with the end, we always want to make sure we're not creating a droop effect. Oh, because yeah. Because when we're looking down, it might look okay, right? But when you open, it might be too far, far out. So that's what I'm kind of trying to look at right now. Because you might not actually need this little guy. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, okay, good. So easy it was for you to take it off. So easy. And that's what I love about the individuals as well, is that we can customize it last minute and not have to worry about taking the whole strip off and again ruining the makeup before. Is that yeah. it? Oh yeah. Like Scarface. love this. I love that, that you did that with that pencil. Right? Like, how easy was that? So easy. And that's our look. I love it. We need to do a lippy, but... Yeah, but even, you know, look how pretty. I oh, love so it. so gorgeous. You look so pretty. So... That was my get ready with me, and then just have to do a lip. But yeah. I love it, Michael. Thank you so, so much. I Are you love obsessed? It. I am. I love it so much. And we're going to go in with just a little lip pencil. This is the one we actually used on Pride. Mm. It's from One Size Beauty. And it's like a perfect, like, cool pink. That's Patrick's brand. Mm hmm. He's so cute. We love Patrick. Oh, I love that. That pencil. Right? It just like glides yeah, what on. what is that? This is the one size in Make It Known. Oh, I love it. Like that with a little bit of balm on top? I mean, that's all you need. But I already have a little balm. So it like, all you really need, like. Was that on top? It's really. And look at that. Just a little balm. No need for any lipstick. Huh. Your makeup bag would have, I think, like five products in it. Yeah. For touch-ups. Yeah, exactly. So there you go, guys. Thanks, Michael, so much for doing my makeup. Of course. Thank you for having me. And I can wear this. Like, I'm going to go out tonight, so I might just put a little bit more on my lips, mm -hmm. and that's it. But I won't even need to touch up or anything. Look at your eyes. It looks so great. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and let me know what you want me to do next. And I'm going to put the link down below to Michael's makeup class. So it's so fun. Yes. Okay, I love you all. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>